is the life. Just sitting down, watching a funny cartoon, and eating some Halloween candy. Ooh! Oh my god. You guys better get out there fast! Hurry! She's catching up to you! Ooh, candy canes! Oh my god! Oh, this is scary! <laughs> I am really enjoying this and I hope nothing ruins it. <laughs> what the? I know how important it is to speak up and use your voice. On November 3rd, everyone needs to use their voice to vote. I mean, is there anything more wonderful than completing your civic duty? So Vote? What's this all about? Haven't you heard, Cal? Election Day's coming up. Election Day? You mean there's another holiday already? Oh, I might even finish eating all my Halloween candy! Oh, no, Cal, it's not really a holiday. It's just, uh, well, it's basically a day where people go out and vote for other people to be the leader of something, I don't know. Okay, basically, every leap year on, like, the first Tuesday of November, there's, like, a special day called Election Day, where people all over the nation go out and vote, you know, see who's gonna be the next, uh, I don't know, next governor, the next uh, president, or whatever. And besides, Election Day is very important for Capital City, too. Really? How? Well, uh, well, we're gonna be deciding who's gonna be the next mayor of Capital City. The next mayor? Yeah. Again, did we ever have a mayor? Nope. This town has been around since like 2013 and there's never been a mayor. I think uh, it's time we finally change things. Well, who do you think is going to be the next mayor? Well, that's the thing. Well, there aren't any candidates. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I could be the next mayor of Capital City. You, Cal? But uh, you're not even old enough to have a job in office. So, if there aren't any mayors in Capital City, I'll be there to make history! Seriously? I don't know, Cal. Being a mayor of Capital City is a very big responsibility, and, uh... Well, I wouldn't say that you're the picture of responsible. Come on, guys. It wouldn't hurt to try, like what my mom always says. Yeah, that's true. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody's gonna be running for mayor of Capital City. Yep, that's right, Roger. Uh... Are you coming to support me? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be right too, right against you. And believe me, I'm going to win because I'm pretty sure the public knows perfection when they see it. I'm going to beat your butt at the election. Aw, uh, come on guys, let's be supportive of one another. I mean, sure, even if we're from, even if we're running against each other, we can still support each other too. Baby Lab. This is an election we're talking about. I'm pretty sure the candidates aren't going to support each other. Oh, don't get me wrong, Roger. I think you make a great mayor. Obviously. So, are you going to quit or something? What? No! I'm still going to try to be mayor. I know I'm going to do a super job. I believe in myself. And besides, maybe it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> you don't know squat about politics. Well, I have no idea what birds have to do with it. I thought politics, not poultry. Well... Meet me over there in about two hours. We're gonna have our first debate. And then we'll see who's more fit to be mayor. <laughs> okay, good luck! <laughs> that was fun. Well, Cal, are you sure you're up for the job? Sure I am, baby lamb. Don't worry, I'll be perfect. Right, but uh, if you're gonna be running for mayor, you should probably like make a bunch of campaign posters and stuff. Not a problem. I know, right? It's surprising how fast I was able to get them finished. Yeah, but... How come the cartoon version of you has only two ears, and you have one? Hmm, I never thought of it that way. But who cares? Okay, posters are good, but you're probably gonna need a vice mayor. A vice mayor? What's that? You know, someone to take your place in case something bad happens to you. Like if you get sick, or you get hurt, or you die. Die?! No, I mean, I'm just being hypothetical. Hey, maybe Baby Lamb could be my vice mayor. Really, Cal? You want me to be your vice mayor? Of course. You are my bestest best friend. Aw, and you are mine too. Aw, isn't that nice? That's very wholesome. Unfortunately, wholesomeness does not work in politics. Then how come Mr. Rogers got elected president? What? What are you talking about? He was never president. Oh, yeah? 
Explain this! Okay, that was a cheap shot. Well, I see you guys have already put up campaign posters, and Cal's already chose a running mate. No, what? No, 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 no. Cal and I are just friends. No, doofus. I mean, he already chose someone to be vice mayor. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Have you chosen vice mayor too, Roger? Oh, yes. Say hello to your soon-to-be vice mayor. Yes, hello. Maxwell Snark? Aren't you like a con man? Oh, that's a strong term. I rather prefer sneaking businessman. That's right. Maxwell and I are going to be running against you two bozos. That's right. Roger graciously offered me to be his, you know, campaign partner, and I couldn't be more honored. I don't know. Pretty much nobody in Capital City trusts you. Oh, they don't trust me. Anyone can trust someone in office. Yep, pretty much. Well, the debate's in a couple of minutes. Be there or, pff, well, accept defeat. Ha 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 he's so rude. Yeah, I really hope you're prepared for this, cow. Later. Hello, this is Ricky Bowers with the Capital City Daily News. Our top story tonight, Today's the big day of the debate between Cal McMoo and Roger Rex to see who is going to be the next mayor of Capital City. And we have Donald Dolphin as the moderator. All right, let's listen. All right, each candidate is going to get the same amount of time to explain on certain issues. Now, I just want to make sure that you guys both be respectful to each other, even if you're running against each other, and no interrupting. Are we clear? No, you guys can see me perfectly. <sighs> this is gonna be too easy. Yeah, I have a question. Um, if you're mayor, how exactly will you deal with the um sickness that's still going around? I mean, lots of people are getting sick and dying from it. How will you respond to that? All right, candidate Rex, you go first. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. The only way we can deal with the sickness right now is to just, well, obviously, make everyone, I mean every single person in Capital City to stay home and move as many business operations at home as possible. I mean, seriously, the more people stay at home, then obviously, chances are, we will stop the spread of the sickness. Okay, what about you, Cal? Well, I'd say we should build the world's biggest hand sanitizer and then sanitize the entirety of Capital City. That way everyone will be clean and we don't have to worry about getting sick. Yeah, the world's largest hand sanitizer. Uh, how exactly will we be able to pull that off? Well, obviously, it's going to put all those taxpayers' money to good use, so we don't have to worry about like the budget or anything. Okay, but how will we get the resources for it? I'm sure we have all the resources we can get. I mean, America is a land full of opportunity. Do you see how dumb my opponent is? He, I, he's obviously not fit to be mayor. If I mean, I've done a lot more stuff in just one figure than this bastard has done in his entire life. But Roger, you don't even have any figures. Shut up! Guys, let's not forget who the moderator here is. Oh, seriously. I mean, look at this guy. He has mashed potatoes for braids. No, I don't. I have loaded mashed potatoes for braids. Get your facts straight, Roger. All right, we're, we're just gonna have to move on to the next question. Um, okay. It better be good. Yeah, I have a question. Um, how exactly are you going to, like, uh, help deal with the toxic nature of the internet? It's been becoming a problem recently. All right, Roger, the floor is yours. Well, I feel like social media platforms should be a lot more rigorous when it comes to, you know, dealing with you know, reports of people for, for like, harassment and bullying and even reviewing private information. I mean, seriously, they should, like, fix all of their reporting systems and actually listen. Mm, very interesting insight. What about you, Cal? Well, I feel like we should make it very clear that people should not use their phones or computers near nuclear power plants. Otherwise, things wouldn't be so toxic. They don't be that kind of toxic, you idiot! Uh, no, Roger, I'm pretty sure... No, 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 seriously! You must be, like, literally the dumbest candidate I've ever had to compete with! I mean, seriously, I don't think anyone in their right mind would be able to... I'm pretty sure I stand on very important issues. Why, well, you should see my campaign video!
That campaign video proves absolutely nothing, you bovine bumhole. Uh, Roger? Uh, do you... Roger? Did you, like, come from the Pacific Ocean or something? What? No, why? Because you're acting pretty salty. <laughs> Well, that was something. But we'll just have to wait and see this Tuesday and see who's going to win. Whoa, I'm on the internet! And look, Cal's in the lead! How is it possible that Cal's in the lead? I literally gave the most intelligent answers to the questions that I could possibly give, and all that Cal gave was just. STUPIDITY! Well, to be fair, I didn't have to attack anyone to prove my point. That, and also that campaign poster of Cal kissing his little brother, Calf. Yeah, it wasn't even my idea, but Ricky said it could help boost my campaign. Well, we'll see what the public thinks come Tuesday. Yeah, come Tuesday. Is that really all you're gonna say? Well, you're the one running, not me. Hello, this is Ricky Bowers with the Capital City Daily News. Tonight's a big night, election night. The day when people all over America, or at least all over Capital City, have voted and their voices have been heard. So now we'll finally get to see who is going to be the new mayor of Capital City. So, are you ready to accept defeat, Cal? Oh, come on, Roger. We're just doing this for fun, aren't we? He really doesn't know anything about politics, does he? No, no he doesn't. Well, it doesn't matter anyways, because Baby Lemon and I make a great team. Yeah, we always do. I'm sure we're going to do a great job. And the results are in. The new mayor of Capital City is... Hey folks, your mail time again. Oh, here's a letter from John, age 37. <coughs> Dear Simon, aren't you interrupting the election results right now? Well, yes I am! It's intentionally made to build up suspense. Keep those cards and letters coming! <coughs> like I was saying, the new mayor of Capital City is... JFK! So apparently he joined the race at the last minute in his own party. Well, all right then, he's the new mayor. What? JFK's the winner? Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> you owe me five hundred bucks. You are screwing us! I'm out of here. The politics were rigged, anyways. Well, what do you know? JFK's the new mayor. Huh? Interesting. I'm okay with it. Honestly, I was just doing this whole mayor election stuff for fun. But honestly, I don't think I'm ready to be mayor. At least not until I'm older. And besides, I've got much more important things to do than being a mayor. What's that? Watching cartoons, eating stuffed onions, and being with my best friend. Ah, uh, thanks, Cal. I'm really lucky to have a friend like you. And now, a word from Simon A. Hey there! Just to let you guys know, I only made this episode as a joke. Clone High JFK isn't actually going to be the mayor of Capital City. Although if you were, that would be pretty funny. But on a more uh, serious note, for any of you watching this video who is uh, over the age of 18, you must go out and vote. Seriously. This is a very critical moment to be in America right now. And tomorrow is election day, which means you must go out and you must let your voice be heard. Now, I'm not gonna tell you who you should vote for because one, that'll be just stupid. And two, I don't want to encourage any political bias on this channel. This is just supposed to be a fun channel and all. But still, that doesn't mean I can't tell you that you should make the right decision. You may think that your vote isn't going to matter, but believe me, in the long run, it will matter. And soon you'll be thanking yourself for making the right decision. With that said, I wish the best of luck to all of you and the best of luck to this nation.